is not just a pure research environment anymore. The satisfaction is to see what you set out to do actually work on a vehicle. It's, I think, my way of trying to give back to the society as well, and this is what I take a lot of pride in doing. Welcome to the Advanced Robotics Centre. This is actually the area where we test a lot of our autonomous mobile robots. But robotics are very multidisciplinary kind. So you have like mechanical engineering, you have to design the frame of the robot, the electrical engineering, design the power, design the control systems, computer engineering, and as well as computer science, and you are doing the algorithms in which the robot executes. So when you work on this, you actually gain a deeper understanding of all the systems together. This is the autonomous wheelchair. So we put sensors here. So these are LIDARs. They can detect up to 8 meters. This map behind is actually the entire floor of the Advanced Robotics Center. The humans, the tables, the chairs, the walls. In real time, we can actually sense the world around us. Basically, when you, when you give it a location, it should be able to navigate to the uh, final destination without hitting anyone. One of the purpose for these robots is just to aid people with limited mobility. When we start a project, I always ask, first, why are we doing it? Of course, I would suggest because it's contributing to knowledge, but ultimately, it improves quality of life. I can't see the robot, but trust in the algorithm. I think it has the, all the right qualities for doing research. And research, not for the sake of research, with the end goal of it being applied, somebody's using it, right? and he wants to see it to the end. So actually today, as you can see, it's uh, quite a rainy day. You know, how does a vehicle, autonomous vehicle, drive in the rain? Yeah, and this is kind of like the perfect condition for us to test it in. So uh, currently what we are seeing on the screen, the blue dots are actually the returns from the uh, from the LiDAR. All the all the LiDARs that, that we have, so uh, from the bottom, from the top, all of them are put into the same point cloud. And then uh, we, are, we visualize it from the perspective of the vehicle. There are these orange uh, rectangles that we draw on the screen. So these are actually detected obstacles. So they might be dynamic, they might be static. So the car over here is right in front of us. These boxes are the predicted travel directions. Through this internship opportunity, I actually was very lucky to be able to meet a driver of the Prime Mover. He actually taught me some of the unwritten rules that the vehicle must follow. As a roboticist, you know, it's very exciting to actually meet the people who are going to use your products. Talking to them actually helped us shape how our product will be like, and that will actually allow us to make a more informed decision of how, uh, how to develop this into, uh, in the future. This the uh, APM traveling down the wharf at night. With this, we can see like very, very heavy occlusion. So um, I think further on, there's like four vehicles side by side. Ziggy showed a lot of passion for what we're doing at Venti, and also had a very inquisitive mind that, that as we explained the problem, he would ask more questions and dive deeper. And these questions aligned with what Venti was doing that really spurred and he, he connected with uh, to um, what his interests were with PhD. We've grown Ziggy in a few different areas. There's the technical aspects that he has more algorithm familiarity in, in motion planning. He's also grown in customer relations and presentation skills. The industry experience is, is crucial because you see challenges that you wouldn't see in a lab. I guess I found my calling here, lah. implementing research algorithms onto the vehicles and actually pushing them out as a final product, a solution is, I think, my way of trying to give back to the society as well. And this is like what I take a lot of pride in doing. <laughs>